This cooperation is the beginning of a new chapter in the history of the African cocoa industry. We are through this cooperation creating the opportunity to revolutionize the cocoa supply chain for the delivery of greater value to our economies. We set off on this journey in 2017, the year I came into office, when the great president of Côte d'Ivoire, His Excellency Alassane Ouattara and I, signed an agreement for strategic partnership called the Partenariat Stratégique, which began the process of binding our two countries in even closer intimacy, having regard to the obvious strategic interconnectedness of our two nations. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent regulations governing cocoa supply, especially to the European Union, collaborative efforts between Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire are essential to establish unified positions that safeguard the interests of our farmers. It is imperative for this collaboration to address proactively these challenges, reinforcing the need for cohesive action. We anticipate that this collective initiative will pioneer the way forward for the cocoa industry. As we launch this initiative, and commission its permanent headquarters. We're reminded of the common challenges we face and of our determination to foster cooperative solutions as we march forward. We have proven today that despite all the difficulties imposed, we can achieve solid outcomes. This is our inspiration. This headquarters is not the limit to our mutual achievement but a major step towards greater heights as envisaged by the strategic partnership agreement between our two countries. Together, let us embark on this journey with renewed determination and optimism, confident in our ability to build a brighter future for our cocoa communities and our nations as a whole. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and pleasure to declare the headquarters of the Ghana Côte d'Ivoire Coco Cooperation Initiative duly commissioned. At this stage, I'd like to thank the African Development Bank for the great support that they've been able to give us to ensure the equipment for the administrative secretariat of the initiative and as well as the capacity building of the staff who are working at the secretariat of the initiative. To end, I would like to, on behalf of the President of Côte d'Ivoire, His Excellency Alassane Ouattara, express the desire that this this uh, uh, architectural uh, infrastructure that we have here is going to be the center that is going to push strategically for us to be able to accelerate the reforms that are, are needed for us uh, to be able to handle all the shocks that we could possibly have to be able to ensure the kind of partnership that is needed between us as producer countries as well as consumer countries.